everybody. I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is a request. They wanted to know if we could do a pickup truck with a gift card that pops up out of the bed of the truck. So if you'd like, let's go ahead and head over to Design Space, and I'm going to show you everything that comes in this file. I'll see you there. Okay, guys, so here we are in Design Space for the truck gift card pop-up card. Here are all the basic pieces you will get in the file. If you want, go ahead and add any additional pieces that you would like to add to this project. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. And if you'd like, we can go ahead and get our pieces cut out, and I'll meet you at the craft table, and I'll show you how to put this together. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are back at the craft table, we can get our card base out and our pretty paper and we can work our score line and go ahead and glue our pretty paper onto our card base. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay, now that we have our card base done, what we can do is let's get all of our pieces out for our pickup truck and we can go ahead and put our truck together. So let's go ahead and do that. Now why don't we go ahead and get all of our gifts that go on the back of the pickup truck and work on those and put those together. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got our truck done and we have all of our pieces out for our mechanism. So if you're going to put your pretty paper on our platform for our mechanism, why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay, so we have this piece done. So what we can do is work these score lines. And on this platform, all of the score lines will be uh, mountain folds except for the center one. And that one will be a valley fold. So you should have a piece that's looking like that. And then what we can do is take this piece that looks like a mitten. And we have a score line right here. And we can just work that one. And then put that one aside. And then on this piece, we have all of these score lines here. So these two down at the bottom are going to be valley folds so let's work those and then we can work this center slanted line here and then we have this kind of funky little rounded shape here we can work that one and then this guy here Okay, so you should end up having something that's looking like that. Now you can see where I have drawn this pencil line. And then I kind of did this little U shape here on each of these so you can see the little notches that I'm talking about. In those two notches, if you line this up on a line, like so, and then we take a pencil and draw a straight line down. That line is what we're going to use to line our mechanism up in the score line of our card. So when we go to place this on our card, we want this line right in our score line. like so and you can see how that's that pencil line is lining up with the score line of my card now you don't have to draw that line on your mechanism piece from one notch to the other but if it helps you line it up in your card base go ahead and draw that line on there the line will not be seen once we put our card together now I want this platform to be to the bottom here of my pretty paper. So I'm trying to get an idea of where I want to place this. So I like that right where I'm at. 
So let me give you a measurement here. I'm going approximately three-fourths of an inch up from the base of my card. So not from my pretty paper, but from my dark piece up is where I want this edge to end up at. So what we'll do is line this line back up in our score line. Our pencil line, we want to line back up in our score line of our card base. And then I'm just going to scooch it down to my line that I drew on my card that's about three-fourths of an inch up. And then I'm making sure everything is cohesive here, which it is. So we're going to hold our piece. Flip our smallest little tab back onto our card so we can see the bottom now. And we're going to put glue on that. And then we're just going to place it down on our card and give it a second to dry. While that is drying, don't move anything. And we're going to fold our longer tab back, making sure everything is still lined up. Our pencil line is still lined up with our score line. Fold that back, put glue on it, and then once we have our glue on it, we're going to fold it back down onto our card. We want to give that a second to dry. Now, once you think that is dried, we can start folding our card closed. And everything should be coming like so. It should be folding down towards us. Okay, so far so good. Then we can take our mitten and our thumb is going to line up with the curve of this thumb. So that's what we're using to line this up with. So it will lay on our card like so when we go to glue it down. We are putting glue on this thumb and then on this straight tab. So let's do that. Remember, we're just keeping this straight up and down and straight on our card, but we're lining our thumb of our mitten up with this section over here. And you want to give that a second to set. And I want to show you from behind. So if you can see that. How my thumb is lining up with that little thumb on our base of our platform. So from this side, that's what it's looking like. Now what we want is see how our mitten is coming forward. What we need to do is just take our finger and just push it up. And then once you do that, if you look, we have like this Z here. Okay. And then we just, if it, did you see how mine started forward? If it's going like that, we need to boop, push him back. So we have this little lift underneath. And then close everything up. And I do have a video for a demonstration of the mechanism for uh, this if you need a little bit more detailed. And I'll link that below in the bottom. And above is a picture of what the video looks like. It's called Need Help. So everything should be folding up nicely. Now we have that done. This notch, see our little notch we cut out, we want to center in this tab right here. I don't know if you can see that pencil. So where you see I've scribbled that pencil, 
that notch we're going to line up on that tab and get it centered and you want to keep it straight I think mine's pretty centered so once I have it centered we'll push our tab back and we're gonna put glue on this tab and then put it back down on our card take our platform here and we're going to fold it in half where we can see our pretty paper again and then line it up with our bottom piece and then once we do that we're going to put glue all on this tab and then fold our clothes hold our card down onto our platform so let's do that and yes, we should be seeing this on the outside of our card for right now. And then once we think it's drying, we can open it up and boop, out pops our little mitten. Now, if you see this platform is coming to me now, the only thing we need to do is just push it in. And everything should fold up nicely in our card. Okay, and then that pops right out nicely. I'm just going to give this another rub down. So what I did for the gift card is I did is I made this guy here. So what you can do is use like double sided tape or if you got an envelope with it, you could uh, just tape the envelope onto your mitten part. But I also made this if you want to use the card. So I'm using this double-sided tape. I'm going to take it off. So you just line your piece up on your gift card. And then we are going to make this look like a gift. So we fold that over. We have our gift card looking like a gift. And then I made this little bow to put on the front if you would like i'm going to put that on and they would just pull this back to reveal the gift card we're just gonna make sure it's not crossing over in our thumb of our mitten here and i would use a, a glue dot or double-sided tape and i would just put some on the mitten so let's go ahead and do that so I have my tape on here and when we put our gift card on we need to keep in mind that this is all the way up in the up position and when we go to close it that mechanism is going to come down closer to our card about right here is where I think is the furthest I don't know if you can see that pencil mark right here we can go in our card that line would need to line up somewhere right here with it being closed and you can play around with it so like I have the gift card in here and if I close it you can see that that's not going to work so if you just push that up right in your card we can't see it anymore and we lean the card over you can kind of get an idea of how far we need the gift card to be placed in our card and just remember don't go past your thumb of when you're placing the card on because if you go over that score line in the thumb then it's not going to close properly so there we have it our gift card is on looking pretty spiffy there and what we can do is line our truck up and don't forget we have other gifts to put in the back of our truck here and you just want to keep it on the platform don't go down on your sides so I'm going to snip my truck and this is just so it's not so bulky in my score line you don't have to do that 
and don't forget you don't want your tires to come outside of that base here and I'm just lining this edge of my truck up to that score line and when you go to glue or tape whatever you're using just keep in mind where your glue is because you don't want it to go where it's not going to be placed so that's about where I'm putting my glue So I did glue where my rail right here is still up so I can check to make sure nothing is going to be hitting my gifts. And when you're putting these on, just make sure you don't block anything. So now what I think I'm going to do is go finish the rest of my card up and I'll be back to show you what I came up with. Okay guys, so here is our finished card and I just think this card turned out so cute. Thank you again for the suggestion, Deb. I appreciate that. It says a gift for you and then we open it up and bam, out pops our gift card up here. I do want to say to you guys, just in case you're working and this all folds down flat again, see how I'm closing it and now it's not working right all you have to do is go behind here and just lift that up just a little and it will automatically go back to working properly okay I just think this is really cute guys and to open this up I don't want to do this but we just pull to open the gift card up they would just pull back this tab and it would reveal the gift card if you didn't want to use the gift card cover up you could use the envelope that it comes with and put this ribbon and bow on it because it is compatible and then on the back we have a place where we can write a message and yeah and then i just put some of these extra little sparkly dots i have left over so i stuck them on this card yeah i'm really pleased with how this turned out a lot of, i like the little gift boxes in the back of the truck too and you could put some down here on the bottom of your card if you wanted to also do you guys know what's the best present ever a broken drone because you can never beat it <laughs> I want to thank you so, so much for stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye.